The New Horizons mission has, of course, uh, done its Pluto flyby, and it's still going on as of this recording. And we're learning so much about Pluto, uh, the planetoid, and its surrounding exoplanets <laughs> as well. Uh, it's, it's been really interesting to watch this mission unfold. Uh, NASA has actually done a deal with Instagram to post photos of Pluto there. When it's just very interesting and also part of their outreach program, I think, to show people how freaking cool this is and how much we're learning. Oh, it's so cool. And there's a picture of Pluto. It looks like it has a heart on it. Mm -hmm. and I, there oh, it is. it's there. Oh, Pluto, I heart you too. That's so cute. Um, no, this is really neat. I mean, I, I'm still not okay with being a planetoid because... I don't think it matters. No, I guess it doesn't. I just... I truly don't think it matters no, that it's, it's a planetoid. it's just so cool to be able to see this stuff. Like, this is... Mm -hmm. I'm a bit of a space nerd, and I just... I, I think this so is So, guys, amazing. we're real close. Only a million miles away. <gasps> it's like nothing. Uh, give it's or take. The corner. Uh, it's... I don't, I don't know how to, I can express how exceedingly far away Pluto is and how difficult it is to uh, judge the planet's size due to its atmosphere creating somewhat of a mirage of uh, blurring the boundaries as to how big it is. Uh, we did learn that its ice caps are actually ice, mm -hmm. specifically methane and nitrogen. Uh, and we're learning a lot about about the surrounding area of Pluto. There, and their moon, the moons, and it's just so cool. Mm -hmm. I just, I think this is really, really neat. And the fact that this took nine years to do. Um, yeah, I think a lot of people forgot about it. Yeah, yeah, honestly. I know I did. And I have to say, like, um, I, did a, I did a panel, The Science of Star Wars, at, mm -hmm. um, at Comic-Con. And we had someone from NASA there who was talking about it. And I've done this, this thing now twice, and people were so excited to ask questions about it. And anything that renews interest in the space program mm -hmm. is a good thing. I think that's really, really important. Mm -hmm. More space. For sure. So we're learning about uh, Pluto's largest moon, Charon. Charon? Charon. Charon. Anyway. I'm just, we're just going to make up how you say that. 751 miles in diameter. Uh, we are learning more about the, the smaller moons. Uh, the wee moons. The wee moons. In the article that we're looking at, the wee moons. Nix and Hydra mm -hmm. at 35 kilometers and 45 kilometers in diameter, respectively. Kerberos um, and Styx. Pluto is about 2,370 kilometers in diameter, give or take about 20 kilometers. Uh, again, it's kind of hard to measure. So it is larger than Eris. We know that. <laughs> That's a thing we know. Yeah. Um, so I'm sure there will be more updates about what we're learning about Pluto coming out. Be please be sure to check out uh, NASA, obviously, following this mm -hmm. on Twitter, on Instagram. I, I have a friend know. named er Amy Shira Titel who is working very closely with this. I recommend you follow her as well, uh, AS Vintage Space. There you go, Amy. I plugged you, baby. Uh, <laughs> but she, she's working uh, with, with NASA's outreach team to talk more about this. Um, it is very fascinating to watch the developments as they come, as we learn more and more about this massive, massive planetoid. <laughs> you know what? It doesn't matter. Uh, so let us know what you think below about what you've been learning on this mission, how we've been learning it, uh, scientific outreach. Please let us know all Science. about that in the comments, and please be sure to subscribe for more.